Well, good morning. Man, it's so beautiful. Look, my town is just so pretty. Walking down the alleys here. Show you the alleys. Love it. It is May 8th. It's Mother's Day. When dropped my stuff off at the church already, and I want some coffee. So I got like an hour and a half till youth starts. But I love to get in there early and just go over the message, read over the scripture, pray over everything we're going to do, you know, just to make sure that the Holy Spirit really affects everyone who comes through that door in a powerful way. On the subject of Mother's Day, of course, happy Mother's Day to my mom and her mom, my grandma on her side, and uh, my grandmother on my dad's side. I'll try to put pictures up. I have some pictures of all of them. And of course, to my amazing mother-in-law, Teresa. So I don't want to get run over across the street. <laughs> uh, just a bunch of amazing women I have in my life that are helping to form and mold me into the, I don't know, man I am today. Of course, credit to dads too, but it's Mother's Day, so we just say shout out to the mamas out there. And uh, I'm not really gonna get into anything Biblical for Mother's Day. Mother's Day is not really a biblical holiday necessarily, but at the same time You could argue that you know, I mean moms are really important, you know, they're kind of crucial and essential to upbringing So we won't get into theology behind it. We'll just say happy Mother's Day and we'll leave it at that But really I don't have anything too crazy To talk about this morning nothing really prompted I guess more of an update video our church right now is, I don't want to say finishing up because that wouldn't make sense. We're starting a capital campaign. And I mean, we're officially starting the commitment portion of it was last Sunday. Next Sunday is our announcement portion of it. But the campaign and the giving for the campaign will last like three years or something over the course. But I was a part of the crew that got things together and ready for the campaign to start in the first place. So pretty much between January and May 1st-ish, that time frame, myself, well, there's a large crew of people who were working on the capital campaign and still are, but uh, myself and uh, Rob Lindsay, who's a guy who does, he does a lot of tech work, IT work at our church, but at the same time, that dude loves Jesus. He's on fire for Jesus, and I just love working with him. Uh, without his help, I couldn't have done half the stuff that we got done. Literally, like, he is just awesome. But over the course of the last, you know, so many months, we've been getting everything prepped, getting people prepped for a capital campaign. So, making all the newsletters and uh, making designs for other teams that have stuff going on, making multiple videos that were shown throughout the campaign, you know, just doing a lot of work to get people ready and prepped for when the campaign started. So if you wonder why there's been like a lack of videos going up, lack of social media presence, that's why, because it's just been crazy busy around here. A little bit of a shorter walk today to the coffee. I'm gonna go in and get coffee and then we'll finish on the way back. I just realized I had my coffee sitting on a barrel that said non-hazardous waste. It says non-hazardous, but if I grow like two more eyes, you know why. This is a rather short video today. I think that's okay. I make really long videos and so I need to try to cut them down. I was talking to someone about that. I need to try to make my videos a little shorter. I don't know. I have a hard time keeping some of the stuff that I have to say or do short and so I make long videos. But I could probably cut them up shorter, edit out some stuff. I don't know. We'll see what happens. What were we talking about? Oh, um, yeah. So the capital campaign and um, just why there hasn't been a lot of videos up. I was at a point where I was uploading maybe a video every week. And uh, I'd like to get back to that point because, I mean, I love making videos and it's easier to stay engaged when you have a video going up every week or so and staying just current with other YouTube videos, watching and commenting and stuff like that. So I'd like to get back to one video a week. I think right now it's been one video every two to three weeks just because of how crazy busy I've been which I'm not complaining. I mean, the capital campaign is huge. It's a really important thing that we were doing, that we're still doing. Uh, but you talk about a 40 hour work week and then a lot of extra work that goes into the capital campaign to make sure it's ready to go and everything's happening there. So you can understand just how busy, how crazy busy it's been. I, I get nervous sometimes when the police <laughs> drive by me. 
because my camera is mounted on a handle and I'm afraid people are going to mistake it for a handgun. It's not a handgun, but I can see why at the blink of an eye you might think it is, although I'd be holding it kind of funny. I've got so much video to edit. I still have to... Trust me, I don't hear the end of it. I still have to edit our wedding video. I mean, it's not like an official video, it's more like a vlog, our wedding vlog. I have to edit all of our honeymoon videos. Um, I've got some edit, some videos that are edited that are gonna go up here real soon. A uh, video from my buddy went on a mission trip. Uh, some trips Liz and I have taken. One recently we went and saw Todd White, which was crazy awesome. And uh, we took a bunch of video of that. So that video will go up soon for our Todd White trip. But also, uh, I know I keep saying it, but I really wanna get back to making some other videos aside from just vlogs. I love to make vlogs right now once I edit the ones that I even have. Man, I've got vlogs to last months, you know, to go up for multiple months. And so I'd like to get back to, I want to put some music up. Uh, we're working on some music with Ty, and uh, we've almost got another song done there. So I want to try to get that up online. Also want to sit down and uh, maybe not necessarily studio quality, but just sit down and play some worship tunes. Uh, I might jam and do some worship with some other people and maybe just with myself some places. Put some covers up and maybe write some music soon. I was thinking about writing a little bit. And then I know this kind of like it's been a long time, but I really want to make another Photoshop battle video. I haven't made one in forever. I love to make Photoshop battle videos. I do battles on my off time every so often for fun, but I haven't actually made one. Uh, man, it was last year when I made the last Photoshop battle because I only have, I think I have two. I tried to make three, but one of them the recording messed up and I didn't end up putting it online. But anyway, in honor of a short video, uh, that's some stuff to look forward to soon. Uh, you got a lot of more videos coming out. Uh, that's why I've been sort of absent, but I had a lot of work to do. I'm gonna try to really sit down and crank out some videos because I just love making videos and I enjoy the feedback that I get. So thank you so much for watching. Of course, subscribe. I mean, if you wanna watch more videos like this in the past videos, I got a lot of videos coming in. Um, not that I make any money, I don't really monetize. Not that subscribing does anything more than let me know that people enjoy the videos. And of course, like videos that you like so that I can know what you enjoy and what you don't. And uh, comment below, maybe some ideas that you have for videos and I'd be happy to take them on. And we just love to act goofy in front of a camera. So thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.